Good morning everybody, it's Effie here and I am currently 20 weeks and one day pregnant so I'm at the halfway point. Before I start this video officially I'd like to make a couple of shout outs. The first one is to Kaylin Sully who is currently 24 weeks pregnant. However, a couple of days ago her waters broke or she started leaky, one of the two. Anyhow, she's losing fluid and she has to stay in hospital till little Cora is born. So, you know, because she's currently 24 weeks, that could be anywhere up to four months. And hopefully she goes as far as she can with the pregnancy so that Cora has the best chance possible. So I've got my fingers crossed for her. I'm constantly checking her Facebook. Um, I'll put the link to her Facebook down below so you can um, add her or I'll also put her YouTube channel as well because she's currently doing a few vlogs on there keeping us updated what's happening in hospital and yeah so I'm hoping everything is well. Another shout out is to Danielle Baby Bliss who a couple of weeks ago now, one or two weeks ago, she started to have a bit of spotting so she went to have an ultrasound and Baba is fine so which is good thank goodness. I had the same thing Danielle at 11 weeks I started like having bleeding and I totally freaked out and then you know I went for the ultrasound and you know baby was fine and got to see how little miracle was going and everything so it was just really good so um, I'm hoping you have a stress free pregnancy for the rest of it now yeah I had bleeding to about week 14 on and off like not heavy bleeding just spotting like I would wipe and that would be it so um I hope you don't have any more of that because I know how freaking scary that is, you know, because I've had, you know, I've been pregnant twice before this and for me each time bleeding has not been a good sign, but in this case everything was just fine and ended up having nothing to do with the baby, which is good. So, um, yeah, I think that's it with the shout outs for now. Oh no, there's a couple more. I'm trying to think, I think last time I mentioned, um, there was a girl called Liz who was in her two week wait and she had gotten a, H, a positive HPT and she wasn't going to test again till that Tuesday when they did the blood test. Well, she is pregnant. She's currently, I think, seven weeks. Memory. I think seven weeks pregnant. Correct me if I'm wrong, Liz. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's seven, she's seven weeks pregnant now. So congratulations to her. There's another girl as well. I think it's Wishful TTC Alexa. I don't know. But um, I'll put the link to her channel down below as well. Please prayers for her because she's currently got a, she got a positive like a few days ago. But the um, numbers haven't doubled. So just keep her in your prayers and hope that everything's okay with the baba and that it's just a stubborn baby and <laughs> that everything will be okay. She, yeah. Alright, so just keep fingers crossed for her. Okay, I think that's it with the shout outs. Um, I'm trying to think what's happened. A couple of weeks ago, so at 18 weeks and like, yeah, well, right on 18 weeks, I got sick with the cold, so I had to stay home from work a few days because usually I'm used to jumping in a hot bath and sweating it out. It's usually my technique of getting rid of the cold and unfortunately I can't do that at the moment because I'm pregnant so I had to give in and go to the doctor and I had to get antibiotics and just wait for the antibiotics to work. Um, my acupuncturist did give me some stuff but it was too late by then because I had started to get sick on the Friday and by the Sunday I was just like death. So um, yeah, what else has happened? trying to think. Last week I had an ultrasound which I'll talk about in a minute but um, there's a something on my body that a lot of pregnant girls seem to be having and for some reason I don't know how I got it because I'm having one baby and well yeah I can't say that bit at the moment but um, yeah I forgot the name of the thing but I'll put the link down below to that as well but um, it's like a rash to the body. Oh, you can't see it here. 
But um, I've got it all here on my stomach, on my back, all here, and it's all in different forms on the body as well. It's not just one kind of thing. So like on my arms, it's like raised. Well, here it's all flat but red, and then over here it's just like spots and dots, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I forgot the name of it, but um, I mentioned it on Facebook, and a few of you girls have had it. Or you've got some form of it. So, yeah. Um, okay. We'll go to the ultrasound now. I'm trying to see where the ultrasound pictures are. Not sure where I've put them. But, um, yeah, we went for the ultrasound on Tuesday. To, to It's called the morphology scan. And um, the first thing I go is, are we going to find out the sex today? And she's like, yeah, of course we are. So we tried, a, we tried for a little bit. And like she tried it again, couldn't like get the baby to open its legs. So we went back, measured the head, then we went back down, and we found out we are having a girl. So I've just uploaded a gender reveal video, so you can watch there. I've put up like a picture of Pekuha, so to speak, poor kid. So um, yeah, there's a little video on that, just like a one minute video revealing the gender and the name, which it's no secret, it's, her name is Sophia, so um, yeah, which is really good, so my mum and Mark went with me, and um, she was a cheeky little thing, her hands were up here, and we had to um, actually go back the next day, because she was in such a position where they couldn't see all the bulbs in the heart, where they think they thought they could see that last one that they needed to see, but they couldn't see it. So I had to go back the next day, and then they said I wanted to measure the nasal bone again because behind in measurements, like I don't know, it's measuring like at 16 weeks or something. I don't know, and they've increased my chances of Down syndrome. And I said already, I'm not having that injection to find out. But I think everything's okay. As you will see in the gender reveal video, I put a photo up of Mark, and next to it is Sophia, and the way they both sleep, and you'll see that she's pretty much got in his nose. Lucky kid, because, yeah, wouldn't want to have my big nose. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, that's the end of that. So, all that went well. I have the obstetrician appointment this Saturday, so I'm going to ask him about the whole rash thing because it's not itching yet but I just want to be on the safe side because when it starts itching what the hell am I going to do and plus a couple of other stuff I need to ask him about but um yesterday we had baby markets and that's what I've got in the room over there doesn't matter but um if you've got me on Facebook you've already seen it but um we've had baby markets yesterday at Camden and I bought stuff obviously now it's easier because I do know what we're having and I was able to buy based on, on that. So the first thing I will show you, and it's actually, I've got it in the pram. I put it in the pram to try it, and then I've just kept it in there. So, so it's a sheepskin pram liner. So I've got this head support here, and then there's this one to put on it. So that one will unvelcro. Let's take the velcro off. Then we can put this one when she's a bit older and she doesn't need the head support as much. So like that. And then obviously strap it up as normal. So that only cost me like $10 to buy. And it's good because um, I actually had a friend of mine give me her cream coloured sheepskin rug a few weeks ago when I mentioned oh you know I'm looking for one and stuff because it's a winter baby and everything so I've got one for actually at home and I've got one in the pram which is pretty cool so um yeah that same friend when she found out I was having a girl because she's got two girls of her own she brought in like a whole heap of stuff for me so this was from before she gave me this so this is a nappy stacker, which, yeah, we knew the truth. And then she brought in this stuff, so just little stuff. So I've got this little jumper, jacket, 
well, not really a jacket, but it's the same kind of material thing. That's in pre zero, so that's through to six months. But these will be the tights. She wants like a little, oh, there's more here, pants. Little blanket, so prime blanket. <sighs> she got a little bottle. <laughs> this is here. Spoon. And just the baby book. So yeah, so she brought all that in for me. So I got that because on Wednesday I couldn't go to work because I had to have the scan again. And which everything was fine. They brought like three people into the room to check and the position she was in this time, like it was a bit different. So everything was fine there. So um yeah, don't worry, she was fine. So I got all that when I went in Thursday. And then yesterday at the baby market I bought this pants. These are all newborn size I'm showing you. Well zero to three months. One here. Because, yeah, I'm trying to find, like I said, winter stuff that would fit her. July baby. Another long sleeve top. Pants again. And there we go. And that was all from the same lady, and they were $2 each. And everything apart from the onesie was pumpkin patch, so I think that's pretty awesome. So they're in really good condition, and yeah, she's got some winter that are in the size now. Alright, what do I have in here? Okay. I bought these bottles of someone from the baby market. They're self sterilizing bottles. So I'm not quite sure how they work yet. But they're brand new anyway. So I think they go in the right way to be sterilized. So I thought I'd give them a go. They were only five dollars. Alright. Of course Mark as you know he's into his sports stuff. I managed to find Adidas joggers in pink for four dollars at the baby market. Over here, we have. I'm trying to think what else is from the baby market. So was that it? I think that could have been. Oh no, there's more. Okay. Okay. And in here, someone was just had a pack of six singlets for two dollars. Just plain white in three zeros and four zeros. So I got them. Alright, so then I bought, I've been buying heaps of stuff. Like, um, there's this thing called Online Garage Sale, and there is one for my area. And actually, a few weeks ago, the playpen that I wanted went up there. And now this playpen in the shops is $300. So this woman had it for $75. I was third in line at lunchtime on the Thursday. By the Friday the next morning, I woke up at 6 o'clock, it was mine. So, of course, I got that. And um, I also bought a tall boy as well. Second hand, but uh, I don't care. So, um, and then these are from the same lady. Like, uh, the one which I got the playpen from. Because she has girls. And I said, um, when I find out the sex, I will um, let you know. And I had put some stuff away. And then I found out that, you know, we're having a girl, so I went back and bought some stuff off her. So, um, yeah, so we've got little silver shoes here. These little cute pumpkin patch shoes, are, they're gorgeous. I haven't seen these kind of shoes in pumpkin patch. She said these are from her first daughter, and she only wore them at her first birthday party. And her first daughter is like six years old. And yeah, so that would have been like in 2000 and I think 2006 or something, 2007. So look at how cute these are. They're like really, I don't know if they're actual leather. Yeah, 100% leather. It was synthetic sole. The size fours. So yeah. So I've got that. I've got these little booties. I saw them. They were part of a set, but I just wanted them like that. So she let me get them. Oh, come from patch too. And this dress. So 
these are the little undy things that go under them, the nappy cover. And here we go. Sorry, the computer just went up on standby then. So, and this is the dress. So, yeah, um, all that I just showed you. So, the dress and the booties and two pairs of shoes are bought for $25 from that woman. So, yeah, pretty good. And as well, after that, I go to Mark. We actually haven't bought anything that was new just for her ever since we found out that it was Sophia. So, just yesterday when we went to buy food and veggies, I just um, bought a couple of pairs or a couple of packets, sorry, I should say, of socks. So, um, I just bought these for her. You can't really see the colour properly. But um, the green and pink, which I love that colour combination. It's just beautiful and there's a bit of purple on them as well. And um, I actually got a Minnie Mouse thing. People are saying that it's a nappy scrapper. But um, it only cost me $4 off that website again, the online garage stuff. And then these socks, and like I said on Facebook, I think every WOG kid, which means European, <laughs> has had these really socks. Like, every kid, every girl that I know at the centre that has these knows how to fix them up properly. They don't just sit there and pull them straight up. They know that they've got to fold them back down and everything. And, yeah, it's so cute. But, um, yeah, those are the baby boys. There's obviously a lot more that I haven't shown you, like, the tall boy and the mini mouse ring and the play pen, but if you've got me on Facebook you would have seen it. Um I don't think I've got the play pen up there. But um I'll probably put a link to that down below as well. So yeah, alright, I'll do a belly shot. Halfway, we are halfway Sophia. Um also on online garage sale I bought last <laughs> I bought stuff in um Premi size because um we've been told she is small. She keeps on measuring behind each time we go. So, um, but even though she's perfect weight for where she actually is, like at 19 weeks, two days, she's the right weight for that time, but the measurements are all behind and stuff. But anyhow, doesn't matter. But um, I thought just to prepare ourselves, I bought stuff in like five zero, so like premature size, for, and they fit for up to 2.8 kilos. So, um, yeah, I'm just shot. I am currently 63.5 kilos now. So, um, yeah, we're growing. So, here's a front shot of Sophia. That's the side. And that's the other side. That's how we look like. So yeah, so um, I haven't felt her kick or anything yet. The placenta is anterior, so that means I probably won't feel her for a while. But a couple of times I've had this thing where at the bottom, where the uterus is, it gets really, really heavy. Like it feels like it's getting heavy, and then I feel pops. And that's happened a couple of times in the past two weeks. So yeah, it's just a waiting game to see when we actually feel her kick, which is really good. It's exciting. All right, I better let you go. This is like 19 minutes already. So um, I'll let you go. Have a good day. Keep um, keep. Oh no, gosh, I forget now. Alexa and Kaylin in your thoughts. Um, and just pray for everyone else, and good luck, and I hope everyone who hasn't got the BFT yet gets it. Okay. Alright, then. See you later, girls. Bye.